Okay, fifth grader, <coughs> fifth graders, we're starting 5-4. And 5-4 um, is about using uh, partial quotients to solve division problems. And they give us some examples that may or may not be helpful to you. Um, and uh, so you can, you can look at those if you want. Um, in this one here, they're talking about um, theaters. It says a theater has 375 seats. And they're in array, arranged in rows of 15. How many rows are there? Well, um, they point out here, you can think about it as 15 times R equals 375. Or basically 375 uh, divided by 15. All right. And they draw an area model here. And they break up 375 into, into a group of 300 and then a group of 75. And then each one of those, you would divide it by 15 to get 20, and then divide it by 15 to get 5. Um, speaking of theaters, I found a picture of, uh, I think it's pronounced Kineopolis. I'll show it to you here. It's in Spain, uh, in Madrid. Madrid is a city in Spain. And um, that's just one of the 25 theaters they have. And one of them seats almost a thousand people. That's a huge theater complex. I think the, I mean, the nearest one we've got is what, the, the Galaxy down in uh, Riverbank? I don't know how many theaters that has. I don't, I don't know, 10 is it? Um, I don't know how many each one holds, you know, maybe a couple hundred. But look at that, man, that's massive. That's huge. There are some big theaters out there. And unfortunately right now, because of COVID, um, they're losing their, their pants. I mean, they're, they're probably closed. They're not even open. So um, I don't know how they're paying their bills. That's, that's, that's tough, that's really tough. Anyways, um, so <coughs> bottom of page, excuse me, bottom of page, uh, what page is this? This is page 194. Uh, the convince me um, let's see here it says uh, Yimmel's Yimmel solution to the problem is shown above here so that's his, his solution um, and he's coming up with the same thing up above here uh, he's got zero remainder and um, looks like it's gonna be uh, 25 so is his answer correct uh, yes explain um, Let's see here. Um, uh, well, he has the same correct solution as above. I'm happy with that. I mean, it's coming up with the same thing. I'm not sure I can explain his thinking, but anyways, let's move on here. Not too worried about that one, the guided practice. Let's take a look at that. So it's a show one way of using partial quotients to find 233 divided by 11. Um, well, let's see here. There's, um, what's one way we could do this here? Um, let's see, a 20, 20 times 11 um, it, it equals 220. And um, let's see here. So then uh, 233 minus 220 um, equals, it's going to be 13. We're going to have a remainder in this one, and we actually won't go in evenly. And 13 minus 11 um, equals uh, 2. Um, so it's going to be uh, 21 with a remainder of 2. And then it says, how can you use estimation to check that your answer to problem 1 is correct? Well, that's easy. That's going to be 21 times 11. 21 times 11. And then you could actually uh, uh, add in a plus 2. Plus 2. And you're going to end up with the same thing of 231. 231 plus 2 um, equals 233. All right, let's do a couple others here. Um, some of these have remainders, some do not. I'm looking at number 
How about number three, for example? Number three is uh, 15 uh, into 210. So how many times does 15 fit into 21? Well, it goes in once only. 15, there's going to be six left over. Bring down the zero. How many times does 15 go into 60? goes in four times exactly with nothing left over. So uh, the answer to number, uh, number three is 14. Um, you guys should know how to do these pretty well. Let's, look, let's drop down here and look at number seven. Is this still recording? I want to make sure it is because I'm tired of this thing. It stops recording on me and I don't know it. Um, so number seven. Um, let's see here. It says use partial quotients divide, show your work. So 190, um, let me, yeah, it's going to be 19. How many times does 19 go into 190? Well, that's easy. That's going to be 10 groups of 19. And then uh, 19 goes into 38 twice. That's going to be two groups of 19 equals 30 equals 38. And 10 groups of 19 equals 90. And how many groups of 19 equals 19? Well, that's just one. And so then it says add the, whoops, let me move this up a little bit here so we can see a little bit better. Then it says um, add the partial quotients. Well, what are those? It's going to be 10. It's going to be 2. It's going to be 1 equals 13. So obviously the answer of 247 divided by 19 is 13. I'll get you started on this one. I'll let you guys finish it on your own. Um, how many groups of uh, 14 equals 280? Well, that's going to be 20. Then they ask you how many groups of 14 equals 280. Oh my gosh, same thing, 20. Then how many groups of 14 equals 70? You can do that. And then your answers go below here. All right. Uh, let's move down a little bit further. Um, let's look at numbers uh, or number. Um, well, how about number 10 here? I'm looking at number 10. That's going to be 21 going into 845. Well, 21 goes into um, 84 four times perfectly, okay? So 84, because 21 times 4 is 84. There's nothing left over. We have to bring down the 5. Does um, 21 go into 5? It does not. So you'd put a 0 there. And what's the remainder? Remainder is 5. So the answer to number 10 is 40, remainder 5. All right. Um, let's go to the last page here. Let's look at one or two of these. Um, let's see here. Number 17, a 969-acre wildlife preserve has 19 cheetahs. About how many acres does each cheetah have to itself? So we have 969 being divided by 19. Um, let's see here. It does say about. You know what? That's a clue. That's a big clue right there about how many acres. So we're not looking for an exact answer. Um, let's see here. So I can, I can see if I, if I made this into a 20 and what if I made this into a thousand, wouldn't that be a little bit easier? So what's a thousand divided by 20 equal? Well, What's 10 divided by 2? That's going to be 5. Can I remove any zeros? Well, I can do 1 on this side, and that means I can do 1 on that side. How many zeros are left over that I didn't use? That one. So the answer is um, about 50 acres. Okay. Um, I'll get you going on number, 
19 here. It says a cafeteria can seat 5 times 10 squared students. What's that? That's going to be 5, 5 times 100, because 10 squared is 100. And so what's that going to equal? That's going to be 500. Each table has 2 times 10 to the first. So each table, what's 2 times 10 to the first? That's 20. 2 times 10 is 20. So 20 per table. How many tables are in the cafeteria? So what are we talking about here? We're talking about 500 divided by 20. I'll let you figure that one out. Um, let's see here. Right, I'm looking at 21. Write a multiplication equation and a division equation to represent the model shown below. So how about... Um... Well, let's add these up. What's 10 plus 10? That's 20. So this side is 20. And then what's um, what's 10? What's 10 plus 5? That's 15. So I think I could write an equation uh, of 20 times 15 equals something. And then a division problem. Okay, so um, if, if this area here, the blue area, is 100, and I have one side that's 10, um, the other side would, would be, it's, so we're going to have 100 divided by 10 equals what? What's this going to be? All right. Uh, so that's one one way of looking at that. Um, let's see here. How can you use partial quotients to find 325 divided by 13? Um, how about um, how about 20 times 13? That's going to be 260. And then 5 times 13. Uh, that's going to be 65. And so if you add those up, what do you end up with? Um, 325. Okay. All right, that's it. I'm gonna, that's all I'm going to help you guys with. i got a meeting i got to go to here in about five minutes. So um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, I'll see you online. Tomorrow's Wednesday.